So I recently got back into mining cryptocurrency. I tried mining Bitcoin back in 2013, but well, Bitcoin's not made very well for mining, and so it just didn't work out very well, at least mining with regular hardware. But now I'm trying to mine Ethereum, and actually it's becoming quite fun. So over 24 hours I've mined about 50 cents worth of Ethereum, and it's made me kind of excited. But here's the point where reality kicks in. So in order to mine efficiently, you have to mine with a pool. A pool is a network of other computers, so other people trying to mine just like you. And since I'm using a nano pool, the minimum payout is 0.2 Ethereum. So in other words, my computer with its GTX 960 with 4 gigabytes of video memory is going to have to run for a year or more before it can even get enough to actually do anything with. Before it can actually get enough for nano pool to send me what I what I made. So, I don't feel like waiting that long. It's going to be so boring. However, I have 60,000 subscribers now. I didn't have that back then. If I show you guys how to mine Ethereum, could I possibly have your help mining Ethereum? Because if we all mine it on our own, we're not going to make enough to really do, any, do anything with, and so we're not going to have any fun. I'll just turn off my computer. But if we can team up a little bit, then it might actually be kind of cool, and then maybe we could do videos of, like, going around the internet looking for stuff to buy, or, or maybe sit around for a while, and then if it's worth enough, cash it in in the future, and buy a printing press with the money, or buy a lathe, or a motorcycle, or something. Something that would be fun, you know? Kind of cool. So, how about this? First, I will show you how to mine Ethereum for me, and then I will show you the small steps you have to make to start mining for yourself. But be warned, you probably won't be able to mine very much for yourself, so it probably won't be that much fun. So maybe help me with my evil plan. If we work together, we could rule the world. Or something like that. I don't know. So first off, you're going to need a graphics card. Your graphics card is going to have to be from the past couple years. It's going to have to have at least 2 gigabytes of video memory. NVIDIA or AMD, I believe, is the other manufacturer, is recommended. Now, if you're not sure of what graphics card you have, or if you're not sure of how much video memory it has, then I recommend going to the first link in the description or go to www.techpowerup.com forward slash GPUZ to get GPUZ. It's actually a pretty handy little tool. And download the standard version. So here we see we have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960 with 4 gigabytes of video memory. GDDR3, 32-bit memory bus, all that kind of stuff. You can even see how much it's loaded down. GPU load is 47%. Oh my god, I wonder what that's from. Oh, that's from me recording this video. So, you can, it's actually a pretty handy tool. I recommend this to anybody who has any sort of computer for Windows. So we know that this computer has more than enough memory to run it and all that. Now the next link you want to do is actually get the miner. You go to Nano pool. We're going to be mining Ethereum, so we go to Quick Start, download Claymore Miner, Dual Miner, sorry, and that's actually how you download the latest Claymore Miner. So here we have the Claymore file. We'll extract this. So now inside of this zipped folder, we'll find all these files, this is the actual Ether Miner itself, but we have all these batch files, such as Start Only Ether, the Start Only Ether Classic and whatnot. So now I'm going to open up Notepad and drag and drop Start Underscore Only Underscore ETH. Remember this. Now I believe you can actually edit how much of the GPU it uses, so you could have it running in the background using only 25% of the GPU if you wanted, so that's kind of cool. We'll tinker around with that later. Down here you have all your commands. Now I will provide my Ethereum wallet address in the description. We just copy and paste that into there. That's the, uh, the all that gibberish there. Your worker. Now what you want to do with this is you want to name it. Like for instance, this is going to be Optiplex01. You can enter your email. So then you will get alerts for this. We don't have to do that. EPS W, let's see. 
Password for Ethereum pool uses X, so e EPSW should be X. Okay, so it looks like mode should be set to 1. FT time is something else. So we can save this. And now we should be able to actually click on this file now that we were editing. And look at that. It's detected the GPU. It's doing some stuff. Create GPU buffer for GPU zero. I only have one GPU on this, so it's going to be a little bit slower than some machines. And it's doing Ethereum only mining mode enabled, mode one. Now, if you guys want, you actually could mine two cryptocurrencies at the same time. So this dual miner, if you put that one to a zero on the dash mode, then you can actually mine, I think, um, Pascal coin, maybe some other stuff. And I believe you can actually dual mine where it doesn't lower how much Ethereum you're mining. So you could be mining stuff for yourself while you mine some Ethereum for me. That'd be kind of cool. Although I haven't quite figured out how to mine the the Decred or Decred coin because the, the, the pool that I was going to be using seemed to be having some connection issues and I couldn't seem to connect to it, but I'm fine with just playing around with Ethereum. This is enough new stuff for me. So they're saying now we're getting 5.325 mega hashes total and zero shares. Now, this is going to be like this for a while and then every so often you will see some green text saying like share found and then your share will go up to one. If it starts rejecting shares, that's bad. For me, my computer takes about an hour to find a share, and so that's perfectly fine. And I believe a share is like eight cents worth, eight pennies worth of Ethereum. That's pretty cool. Oh wait, I'm an idiot, I forgot. So there's different pools for Nanopool. There is EU1. I recommend going to, I believe it's us dash East one. That's because I'm in the East. Maybe just go for whichever one you're closest to, but I think that'll allow for it to work a little bit quicker. Yeah, seems to be. That's the right address. That's for the Eastern side of the United States. So cool. That was right. We can go to account forward slash my number. And look at that. This computer has been mining this. Here's what I got. See, the minimum payout is 0 0.2 ETH, which I believe is like, what, 200 some bucks? That's, that's a pretty high amount. I've been leading, leaving my computer to run overnight and been having all these little shares found. And so far I've collected, oh, 42 cents. I thought it was like 50 cents. So, well, uh, if I let this run for 24 hours, it'll probably be around 50 cents or so. Plus, I've I had it off for a while for filming this video. It's pretty cool. So now... I accidentally named this computer ThinkPad1, but if you go into here and you change it to like Optiplex1 or like, actually you know what, if you change it to your username or anything you want, then whatever you want will come up here and I will see it. And maybe we can do a video like see what names show up in here, like, I don't know, like Pepe the Frog or whoever. It'd just be kind of a little fun just to see what comes through here, what you guys put in here. And then what I can do is I can see the culmination of everyone that contributes to this. And you guys can see the culmination of everything, everyone that contributes to this. Just go to nanopool.org, account forward slash the account address. And then I can actually like select on each one. Like I can see ThinkPad or I can see if anybody else does anything. I can see exactly what it is. You can see what I'm mining. That's kind of cool, I think. So now we're mining. Well, we're not mining right now, but because they would lag down the, the video production. But just by clicking this, I'll be mining. I believe you can change the second miner by going to deep pools. Yeah, so this is mining things like Pascal and whatnot. I haven't really messed with this, but you could use this to mine two things at once. Now what you want to do is you'd want to... Now what you'd want to do is you'd want to change this to a zero that way, it knows to start mining two things at once. But I'll let you guys figure that out. Now what about if you guys want to mine for yourself? So we have all the miner side figured out, and we just need to make you a wallet. Go to download Ethereum wallet for 60, Windows 64-bit. 
Sure, I understand and agree. Save the file. Allow access. Use main network. Uh, let's see. Nope, I don't. And your password. Let's do Florful next. Creating all this stuff. Launch application. Okay, here's your Ethereum wallet. Main account. Copy address. And so this is the new address for my fake account. Or well, not fake account, but my little burner account that I just made. And I believe that's all you have to do. I'm only 24 hours experienced with this. So if I'm doing something wrong, I would love to hear what you guys think. But I think this is good enough for just playing around. I'm not, working, I'm not worried about much security or whatever. So what you do now is you would go back to your start only ETH. You would erase my address. You put in your address. Boom, like that. And now, whenever you run the miner, it will be sending it to this address, which is now this wallet. Which in this instance will be your wallet. Oh wow, five peers, look at that. So that is pretty much it. Although, you're not going to be mining very much Ethereum for this. But oh well. Anyway, now you're running the Ethereum miner. And I believe you can set it to only taking like 60% of your power by, by altering those settings. But I, went, I put it back to 100% so it's using all the processing power. And I'm getting 5.5-ish mega hashes per second, which is kind of small when it comes to actually mining Ethereum. But for this, it's good enough for tinkering around. I would love to hear what graphics cards you guys have and what hash rates you get because it would be pretty cool to understand... Maybe I need to tinker with my graphics card and I could get some more. Because I actually heard that some people can get like 20 some mega hashes, like four times the amount with this graphics card. So maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. Maybe I should change different OS's to like a Linux or something. I'm not sure. If you ever see a message that says like ETH payment, um stop miner restart that's not saying for you to restart that's that's saying that it restarted and so like they word it very poorly so if you see that if you see that message pop up in in your text don't restart your miner it's just something saying like the connection restarted or something but a lot of people when they see that including me i, I originally thought like is that saying for me to restart it but i looked it up and no it's it's not saying that so you can just like ignore that it's, it's kind of unfortunate that they made that issue with the wording, but oh well. And so yeah, now it's just a waiting game to see what comes through. And a waiting game to see what you guys help me make, because it'd be kind of cool to, to see the, the results. The last link in the description, and maybe I'll even put a link in the comment, will be towards seeing how many people have contributed to my ethereum little project so yeah let's have some fun with some ethereum and let me know what you guys think hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching see ya just found another share on gpu zero